Xiaomi smartphone with 4K display was slick. The device with a 4K display was supposed to be CC11 Pro. The device model was 210919BC for the Pro variant. The device is supposed to have a display size of 6.55 inches at its resolution at 3840 by 2160. The CPU chip is an opta-core clocked at 2.4 GHz paired with 6 GB of RAM up to 16 GB of RAM. The storage capacity is 64 GB up to 512 GB, a battery capacity of 4400 mAh. The main camera is a main shooter at 64 megapixel with a pair of 2 8 megapixel camera. The colors are red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, purple, black, and white, and pink colors. Apple is going to ditch the iPhone mini due to the declines in sales. A rumor mentioned that Apple will exchange for the standard iPhone but a bigger display around 6.7 inches, probably will name it the iPhone 14 Max. For example, the standard specs of the iPhone 13 but with a display size of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. For next year, all devices are expected to have a 120Hz LTPO display. Apple will remove the notch on the top of the screen in favor of a punch hole camera. For more details, watch my previous video about the upcoming iPhone 14 series. Also remember that the iPhone 14 will be released next year and company decision might change over time. The iPhone 13 series was released to public recently. News are coming out that suppliers are privatizing the iPhone 13 series over any smartphone. In which include the new Samsung S21. The reason is for the high demand is for the suppliers to know that iPhone sales are more stable than Android phones or any smartphone. The price for the Pixel 6 have been leaked. The price are more affordable than it was thought, but the price were leaked in Euro. For the standard Pixel 6, it costs about $649, and for the Pro variant, about $899. To US dollars, that should be around $799 or for the Pro variant, 1099. To get the set prices, we have to wait until the unveil date by the end of October. Samsung Galaxy S22 rumor mentioned that the merge of the Note series and the S series. The leaker S Universe confirmed that the S22 Ultra will still be called the S22 Ultra instead of the Note 22 Ultra. It makes sense because it will not fit in the list of lineup for the S series. It did not make also sense for the marketing. The S22 Ultra will bring the king elements of the Note to the S Ultra series. Also, here is more renders of the S22 Ultra Inc. and also case renders from the case manufacturers. The S21 FE will skip the unveiling and will release the device to the public directly. The only problem is that the device will release close to the S22 series for the launch date that will be around late January by 2022. The chip shortage is but it might get worse even though the GPUs are higher. But recently, a report mentioned that corporate industry is having a shortage. This will make the most of the electronics increase the price due to the situation we're facing right now. The situation is getting worse. To get electronics that include motherboards that use large PCBs with higher layer counts, AMD has released to publish their new ambitious plan to reduce by 30% power efficiency of its CPU and instant AI accelerators by 2025. This will benefit the data centers and supercomputers to consume less electricity around 97%. Google is planning to update Google Chrome Store Manifest version 2 to Manifest version 3. The end date for Manifest version 2 is in January 2023. Google Store Manifest is a file extension like that .exe the purpose of the manifest version 3 is for security and performance due to v2 can be exploited to create malware and obtain sensitive data. On the other hand, app lockers will be affected because it will break the operation system of the app locker from their functions.